Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and I am going to talk to you today about the True Bias Nico Top. So, first things first, um, I love True Bias patterns like if I'm being honest, I own a lot of her patterns. Um, there's the Roscoe blouse, the Lander pants I still haven't made. There is the Ogden cami, which if you know me, you know I've made this thing 10 times over. Um, and the Nico top or the Nico, Nico turtleneck is slowly becoming like my winter fall Ogden cami, if we're being honest. I've actually made four of them. Um, and I think at this point, I have truly perfected the sizing and the shape and the fit that I want. So I am going to get into this review. Kelly does a really great job with um, her instructions, her directions, and her patterns. Um, so a little bit about the True Bias turtleneck. It is a mock neck turtleneck. Um, this is one of the views. There's about four views that come in the pattern. This um, is the sleeveless top version and I guess you can say I've made every single view. Um, there's the long sleeve dress, the long sleeve shirt, and then the sleeveless dress. So the first Nico top that I made, or the first Nico pattern that I made, was actually um, a pink merino cotton wool blend um, sweater dress. And so when I first made it, I made it one size down from my true size. And I was thinking in my head, like, you know what, I kind of do want this to be more of a skim look like I just want it to skim over my body I don't want it to be too form-fitting um, because I knew I was gonna layer it and I knew I kind of wanted like a more of a like mod twiggy look so I was totally okay with it being a little bit looser then I made it actually from a jersey knit print um, and I used that in I believe it was I used it in an Instagram reel to celebrate my move to Jackson but Either way, I kept it the same size, but I actually increased the seam allowance and for some reason I thought, you know, it's a different fabric so it'll probably shrink up a little bit more, but that's not actually what happened. Third time, truly a charm, was when I made this shirt and I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to look at these measurements again and see like, okay, where exactly do I really want this to fit? So. I used my rule of three inches with knitwear and what that is is I usually take all of my measurements, my bust, my waist, my hip, and then I subtract three inches from my bust, three inches from my waist, and three inches from my hip area and then I say okay that's gonna be my size for knits. And I know that sounds a little like what but the math is real trust me. Um, so when I made this one this is a modal i think you want to say it's a modal knit so i think it's a man-made um fabric um but it is very tight it is very 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 form-fitting um it's got great resistance um and i thought that it was perfect for this turtleneck um it's definitely something that i can wear to work put under a sweater i can wear it in the springtime i can wear um you know layered up in the fall winter whatever this is not leaving my wardrobe ever. Just know that, never leaving. So the fourth one I made, I used the same measurements that I used for this one, and that was a sleeveless rib knit navy green, olive green um, dress. So yes, I will still keep my rule of three for my knits, um, even though I feel like personally, my rib knit version kind of stretched out in some areas, but I think once I put it in the wash and put it in the dryer, it'll probably snap right back. That's what I'm guessing. Some other high level things, this top or dress, whichever one you decide to make, can be made in one night. And I'm not just saying that, I promise you, it could be made in one night. Two, there's like endless, like endless inspo on Instagram throughout the internet for this turtleneck. It's a classic look. Um, it can be designed, hacked, and whipped up any kind of way. The other thing is that I don't think this is really going out of style. Like, I I love turtlenecks, period. I think that they're, for me, it's like a no-brainer in the morning, especially in the fall and the winter, like throw on the turtleneck and just go about your day. So I'll never stop making these, but all right, you guys, that's all I have for the Nico pattern today. Again, that's by True Bias. And one more time, I am not being paid. There is no 
kickback or anything with this video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye!